Hey everyone. So I've just listened, um, not rereading, listening to The Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort um, of Wolf of the Wall Street fame on Audible. First thing I've ever listened to on Audible, I got it free with my phone. And um, right now, coronavirus, I don't like the idea of having people delivering things to my house. Because if they're delivering to lots of houses and they pick up the virus and it comes to my house, and I really don't think they should be out working anyway. But Audible, quite interesting. I was able to listen to it while I was doing other things, <laughs> like cooking, um, or exercising, or walking, or um, which is nice, but I actually prefer reading a book. There's something about seeing and reading a book. But Audible does have its advantages, because you can do it while you're doing other things. And also, I've read the book, um, The Way of the Wolf, three or four times now. Um, if, you're, if you've got your own business, or, or you're in sales, or, or you're in... Uh, anything which requires you to make deals. It's very, very useful actually, having the book read to you, in this case by the author, because tonality is an important part of the whole thing. So if you've got you know, the Wolf of Wall Street demonstrating for you how you should sound at each part of the negotiation, it, it's great. And for me, it was a revision, because like I said, I've read it a few times. Um, and because it's broken into chapters, like an album will be broken into songs, I know now what I need to go back and remember or uh, rehash on a section where it is. So it's useful. Uh, the book overall is brilliant. I mean, there's only a few things I've read, uh, a few things I've heard or read, which immediately have uh, a positive impact on the results. So in, in negotiation, I'd say that book is Never Split the Difference, which I must have read four or five times. The stuff in there works in terms of actually getting to an agreement or uh, getting to a deal or closing the sale, I think the best thing is probably uh, Jordan Belfort's stuff. I mean, if you watch the film, yeah, he ripped people off and you know, he was a crook and he took advantage, but as a 20-year-old kid, he started making millions a year. Very hard to keep that in check. If you're in your 20s and you start making that kind of money, my guess is you'd probably go off the rails too. Um, apparently, he's a reformed character now, etc., etc., Whatever, if it's good or bad, you know. A really good quote I heard recently was, um, goodness does not equal greatness. There's lots of very, very bad great people. And there are some good great people. Um, great people being people who achieve great things. So he was just a great salesman, uh, a great deal maker. I think one of the best. I certainly think if you are in sales or you are in business for yourself, it's definitely a book worth checking out. And on Audible, it is pretty good as well. I've just downloaded another one on Audible, which I'd probably rather read. Um, it's the autobiography of Mike Tyson, who I think is a fascinating character. Lots of people, oh, Tyson was a rapist, Tyson was this, Tyson was that. Tyson had an extremely interesting life, and, um, you know, he's, he's in the spotlight now. Boxing is a big thing again, um, and yeah, I think that would be really, really interesting. Obviously, I'll post a review on that. Is Audible good? Yeah, it's a different medium, and a different medium maybe helps you to learn things. And it's nice, you know, if you're not the kind of person who can sit around and read a book, you're just not that type of person. And I think reading is extremely important because it opens your eyes to new worlds. Uh, it teaches you things. Uh, you can learn from experts. You can... It's amazing. The world without reading would pretty much suck. I know there's people out there who don't read books, but I think I think they should. <laughs> you know, frankly. And, and they should listen to me because I'm armed, but just kidding around there. Yeah, Audible's good. The book, I think I reviewed before and I give it... I must have given it a 7 or an 8 out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10. Um, and it's nice to hear it on Audible. And there's lots of extra resources. It's, it's like being taught rather than just reading passively, even though it's the same stuff. So I definitely recommend it. Hey, gotta go.